What's up everybody, welcome to my kitchen table. The video you're about to watch has a custom outfit involved for the Superman, right? That was a joint project by Hawker Customs and Tiny Pants Tailoring. Tiny Pants did the outfit and Hawker Customs did the cape. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here it is. I just destroyed a $350 figure in order to make it better. Okay, I had my uh, DC Universe Classic Superman over here that I was hoping to just pay all to pop the head off in order to make the old school Mezco Superman, right? that I just destroyed there, into this. I bought this knockoff Punisher body online, but I couldn't get the uh, the head of the other Superman or the DC Universe Classic Superman to sit on there because it was mad loose because it's a knockoff and basically it's a huge piece of shit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the suit off of this and put it onto this body right here, right? And I'm going to do that with the help of some... Now polish remover, see if that works. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna try some hydrogen peroxide. We're just gonna dab it and lay it on there to try to dissolve the glue on the chest. This way it holds the magnets intact. And I just don't care. I don't care, right? You gotta just not care. I tried to do things nice and easy and then things just don't come easy. So sometimes you just gotta take a hammer to it. You know what I'm saying? But at least I have this. It'll eventually, my Mezco will be on this right here, which is a much better suit. All right? so. I'll be back in two seconds. Well, about two hours on my time, two seconds for you. Show you show you the updates. All right, progress update, okay? There was a, the, this glue, this thing right here, this stupid thing right here has a lot of glue behind it, like a ridiculous amount and it's bolted into his chest. And I thought there was gonna be um, like, a, like a bump or so. So what I did was I took, I took the razor blade and I smoothed it out and now there's no bump at all, all right? So if you guys are gonna do this, you know, you're gonna have to like kind of really take your time and watch you don't cut your hands. I kind of just basically took the razor did that and whittled it down with a little bit of acetane, right? Nail polish remover and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Excuse me. Uh, this just loosened the glue, the, it loosened the damn glue just a little bit, all right? Not too much, because I didn't let it sit because I'm just an impatient bastard. More progress to continue. And there you have it, finished product. Look at that. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Take a look at the back, all right? Sorry for the crappy camera work. Horrible ladder stitch going up the back, but I don't give two craps because it's supposed to be an indivisible stitch, but apparently I don't know how to follow directions. And it worked out anyway because the cape covers that, so I'm not too worried about it at all. So, hope you guys enjoyed me watching destroy a $300 figure in order to make something just a little bit cooler. I wish it would have worked with that thing over there, but it didn't. So this is what we're left with. Excellent work, and it still has the magnets in the chest. All right? Thanks for watching. Take care. Yeah, Mezco outfit, right? Original Mezco outfit. Get the fuck out of here.